Hey there, how are you? I hope that all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end. Welcome back. This is your light in darkness and uh, I am back again with another update and another new message for all of you once again. So here I see a life situation for all of you, for most of you actually, where uh, a area of your life or aspect of your life is at the moment at halt or uh, some situations had been dramatically changed or altered for you to experience okay this is related with your marriage or uh, your um, commitment with your person i see here that many of you are meant to settle down with your counterpart here or that's something which is in your destiny but at the moment this aspect of your life is at halt or uh, the outcome kind of altered for the time being well there's a lesson here there's a change you've got to experience and uh, there was something you're getting protected from okay i see here that there was or there is a involvement of a woman here who's responsible for this uh, for this pause or for things to be at a standstill in front of your person or for this silence or separation that you're experiencing right now this woman did or said something which kind of made your person doubt you your intentions or your overall character okay now this woman can be anyone it can be a mutual acquaintance of yours both of yours it can be a friend of theirs who doesn't like you it can be a family member yours or theirs okay again who doesn't like you it can be a neighbor an aunt sister in law i don't see grandmothers here because this lady this woman is not that old can be for some of you it can be the case that she is so take it how it resonates whoever this lady is she she's the reason why things are not progressing at the moment between you and your person or there is this separation there is this complete silence okay now there was a lesson here for all of you involved for you you had to take another direction okay this lady felt threatened by you for some reason she looked at you in a very negative light she assumed the worst about you and uh, that's what she made your person believe into as well okay she thought and assumed that if you are allowed in your person's life then she might lose what she has or uh, it's her jealousy that made her say and do things she did which resulted in a separation or this uh, silence that's there in between you and your person okay she clearly feels threatened by the potential you hold or by the power you hold and the way you move in your life i feel like many of you were not where you were meant to be in order to have a good relationship or marriage with your person i see here that you guys need to be at some great heights it is what is needed okay or you can say that it was what was needed and that's why this all happened this change or this pause that you're experiencing right now is divinely orchestrated so that you can take this new direction this new venture or new project and reach those heights you're supposed to reach in order to leave a legacy behind and bring in changes you're supposed to bring in if you were allowed to be with your person when you're not in that abundant state when you were not that prosperous or when you had no financial abundance i see that this woman whoever she is would have made your life hell in some way shape or form or it could have been turned out to be a disaster that's why this change was allowed that's why it all happened so that you could become independent 
empowered, self-sufficient and self-reliant and wealthy in many of your cases. That's what I see you are supposed to be doing. If this is your situation, this is the guidance you're receiving and this is the lesson for you if you are in a situation like this where you don't see much of a progress happening in between you and your person and your marriage or your relationship with your person is on hold or it looks like it's not moving anywhere and there's no progress happening. It's because you are supposed to be doing something great with your life individually so that once you come in, once you get together with your person, again if it is divine will, people move into their place on their own and they think 10,000 times before raising their voice or their fingers at you. I hope that you're getting my point. It's important that your relationship does not repeat the patterns people are repeating with their relationships and marriages. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? If you're a woman here, you're not supposed to be a slave in a household. Cooking, cleaning, washing and mopping is everyone's responsibility in a household, not just a woman's. Yes, there are roles people have to play. Maybe one person is the bread winner or maybe for some reason it's only one person who goes out to earn a living but that's not the case in all the households and one cannot impose these kind of rules on a woman that she's supposed to be submissive. She's supposed to keep quiet and remain silent and shy even when there's a need for her to speak up for, for herself and for what's right and for what's just. If you are not independent enough, powerful enough, empowered enough, wealthy enough, I see that these people would have forced you to repeat the same kind of patterns other women are repeating in the world which lead to disempowerment and uh, slavery. I hope you are getting what I'm trying to say here and what message I'm trying to bring across. That was the reason or that is the reason why you are being redirected to take this path. Either by force or by choice you have to do so. You have to make sure that there's no one who can make you feel like a slave or force you to live a life of slavery in any way shape or form especially when it comes to the areas of relationships, marriages and commitments. Because it is expected from a woman to tolerate abuse, tolerate humiliation, tolerate disrespect and even conspiracies. The so-called drama, family drama goes on in the, in the families. Women are expected to tolerate it and remain silent about it. You cannot do so. You cannot do so and you cannot carry that forward. There's no way Divine would allow you to do so and that was the reason why you got forced to leave or distance yourself from your person. Now that doesn't mean that these people are going to get away with what they did and uh, there are no consequences coming in for them. There are for sure. I see that they already are under judgment including your person they'll suffer and struggle as well for uh, listening to this lady and you know allowing her to interfere in your affair in your business in your marriage in your commitment and in your relationship because no one has any authority or power to say anything about you or your connection especially when they have no idea about what it is and what purpose it holds you're getting my point so I see struggle coming in for your person, I see trouble coming in in your person's life and uh, some, some traumatic experiences as well because they've got to learn how to maintain boundaries with certain kind of people, how to let people know their place and say no to interference of any kind when it comes to one's relationships or marriage. Many of the problems arise in relationships or marriages because most of the times people do not know that our friends, our family, our mothers, our sisters, our brothers, our fathers can be very territorial, possessive, mean, jealous, envious and negative. They can be terribly biased as well. 
it's just because they are close to us and we think that they care about us we let them interfere in our affairs which lead to injustices and uh, wrong happenings that's what happened here your person didn't know better this lady for sure doesn't know any better to know better and to learn how to know better they've got to experience something here and that's the lesson for them this is their lesson and your lesson was or is to become empowered become wealthy become prosperous reach new heights and become so successful that people would think 10000 times before looking at you with with any ill intent that's what you got to be doing and meanwhile your person is going to learn why it's important to be mindful thoughtful and aware of your actions decisions and choices why it's important to keep people away from your personal affairs relationships and business why it's important to question what someone is saying about your significant other why it's important to verify things by yourself before believing on to what someone is saying so gullibly because these are the kind of mistakes i see your person made here and this lady needs to learn why it's important to keep a hold on your tongue why it's important to know your place why it's important not to interfere or meddle into meddle with people's personal personal lives why it's important to be thoughtful and mindful about what you're saying or speaking that can affect someone's life why it's important to not believe in your own assumptions why it's important not to make any assumptions in the first place why it's important to not feel threatened by someone because that person looks different or is just different and you do not understand why why it's important to to work on yourself before you raise uh, or target your fingers at someone why it's important to know your um, your worth as well as respect others why it's important to show respect to others why it's important to treat others with kindness and care consideration compassion and humility why it's important to prioritize harmony and love over conflict chaos and argument why it's important not to seek power into other people's lives and not to use your authority or your place in such a negative manner these are the lessons for these people and there are more i haven't included here i'm not saying about them here but i hope that you'll get it all i hope that you already understand what i'm trying to say so right now i see that this is what's going on if things do not look that they're moving upwards at the moment in between you and your person you've got to get going with your life and you've got to build yourself up that's your lesson you've got to start something on your own you've got to start a venture a project a business something where you are using and incorporating your wisdom something that stands and works or moves on spiritual truths and spiritual knowledge something where you're leading people something where you are the leader or a leading example something where you can come into the limelight something where or which helps you to assist other people in their healing or in making this world a better place it can be anything okay something that suits you and your individual personality you getting my point you've got to find what it is for you you've got to prioritize your purpose here or you've got to mix and uh, you know blend in your purpose with your profession or this occupation that's what you've got to be doing and meanwhile these people are going to learn their lessons you getting my point in many of your cases that is what's going on right now these people are under judgment for the struggle you are experiencing right now or have experienced in your life in the past because of them so right now they are struggling right now they are suffering right now they are tormented because that's what they brought in your life and for the kind of struggle you endured they'll have to pay for that and they are paying for that at the moment this is what i see is going on here so the guidance for you here is that you trust yourself 
and in your abilities to maneuver your way through these obstacles and challenges surrender what no longer is working for you or is not in your control understand that things can change or will change as per the divine will in divine right timing so whenever it's meant to be you will have your um, commitment or that offer coming in especially if it's meant for you it'll happen no matter who says what and who does what but there are things people need to learn and i believe that there was a good reason why things were at a standstill or at a halt divine forces gave all of you some good amount of time to work on yourself and learn your lessons so that conflict could be avoided so that quarrels could be avoided and uh, harmony can set in so the work you are going to do and the change you are going to bring in with your empowerment is actually going to set the record straight in your life as well as in this difficult situation of yours so once this change comes to an end or conclusion arrives you will see things lining up and falling in place for you in the most perfect way so for the time being learn to be at peace and know that you are not that alone in your struggles as much as you think yes it's difficult for sure i'm not saying that it's it's not and i'm not trying to invalidate your emotions or your experience i can clearly see that it is difficult it is depressing at times and you might also tear down at moments but i suggest you to look at the silver lining and look at the blessing that's there you cannot see right now this situation is like a blessing in disguise because if you were allowed to be with your person when you were not that empowered not that successful not that powerful or uh, balanced it could have led into something more traumatic than what you're experiencing right now and you'd had no help or assistance at that point of time to come out of those struggles or those experiences you can have right now or once you come out stronger from these changes after learning your lessons and doing what we're suggesting you to do here you getting my point this is the clarity you need here this is the lesson for you so give it all time and space and let divine change things for you okay these people are going to struggle for sure who are responsible for um, for whatever you're going through here and for this halt or this struggle or this experience you have endured on your journey so just know all this be aware of all this and keep going with your life i see here that many of these women are struggling at the moment because they are under judgment and um, what they did to you the way they assumed the worst about you and uh, influenced other people to do the same they are being made to pay for it they are being made to suffer for it they are being made to struggle because of that and i see that they are receiving the same kind of anguish and torment they caused due to experience so it's all getting sorted out for you behind the scenes and uh, there's a good outcome waiting for you in the end okay so that's all this was your reading for today i hope that you enjoyed listening to me and it brought you the clarity you were seeking and were hoping to get if so do let me know how you felt in the comment section below feel free to hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more such content to be readily available for all of you on a regular basis with that being said do not hesitate to follow through with the link given in the description box below your heart says so also if you are interested in taking a personal reading do contact me or consult with me through your of my given email address provided in the description box below that's all i'll be back sooner than later till then take care of yourself and you will after once bye bye